Hi everyone, welcome to the problem solving session of pair of linear equations. Here we are going to solve a problem based on graphical method for parallel pair of linear equations. So here is the question, it says find the number of solutions by graphical method for the following pair of linear equations minus x plus y equals to 4 and x minus y equals to 5. Let's solve this problem following the proper steps. So step number one, let's understand this problem. Here we are given with two equations. We have to draw graphs for these two equations since it is asked to solve by graphical method. And then we have to find the number of common points, that is number of solutions between the lines from these two equations. So step number two, let's start with the first equation, minus x plus y equals to four. For drawing a graph for this equation, we require minimum two sets of values for x and y. And those values should satisfy the equation, that is, if I put in the left hand side, I should get the right hand side value. So let's start with x taking a random value as 0. So we have minus sign and this minus sign will have no effect on 0. Then y has to be 4 so that it gives me right hand side as 4. So the first set of values for x and y is x is 0, y is 4. For the second set of values, let's take x as 4 and we have negative sign with x so it becomes minus 4 then y has to be 8 so that right hand side becomes 4 so the second set of values for x and y is x is 4 and y is 8 so now we have two sets of values for x and y let's plot these points on the graph and let's get a straight line for this equation here is the graph we have to draw a line for the linear equation minus x plus y equals to 4 the first set of values is x is 0, y is 4. Since x is 0, this point lies on y axis and it is at point 4. So here is the point. And the next set is x is 4, y is 8. The point is over here. Let's join these two points. We are getting a straight line for the equation minus x plus y equals to 4. Let's take the second equation x minus y equals to 5. We will follow the same procedure which we did for the first equation. We have to get two sets of values for x and y which will satisfy this equation. If I put those values in left hand side, I should get right hand side value. So let's start with x as 0. Then y has to be minus 5 so that I get right hand side as 5. So therefore the first set of values is x is 0 and y is minus 5. Now for the second set, let me take x as 5 then y has to be 0 so that right hand side becomes 5. So the second set of values is x is 5 and y is 0. Let's plot these points on the graph and join them so that we'll get line for x minus y equals to 5. So here is the graph. You can see there is already a line for the equation minus x plus y equals to 4. Now we have to draw a line for x minus y equals to 5. So first set of values x is 0, y is minus 5. Since x is 0, point lies on y axis and y is minus 5, so it lies on the negative side of y axis. So point is over here. Second set is x is 5, y is 0. Since y is 0, point lies on x axis and x is 5, so point is on the positive side. So point is over here. So we got the two points, join them, we are getting a straight line. Let's move towards the fourth step of finding the number of solutions. If you see these two lines are not intersecting with each other. So there are no common points and when there are no common points you can say there is no solution for this pair of linear equations. So number of solutions for these two linear equations is equal to 0. We need to note one more important point over here is that without drawing the graphs we could have easily predict that the number of solutions were 0. How could we do that? We are having two linear equations. Let's look at the constants with the variables, that is coefficients of the variables. Here we are having 1 with x, 1 with y, 1 with x and 1 with y. So equation can be written as minus 1 into x plus 1 into y equals to 4. 1 into x plus minus 1 into y equals to 5. Now let's divide these coefficients from the two equations. We'll divide constants with x first, that is coefficients of x. So here minus 1 and from here we have 1. So we are dividing this 
after dividing we will get minus 1. Now let us divide the coefficients of y that is constants with y. So 1 here from here we are having minus 1. So after dividing we are getting minus 1. And since these values are equal we can say that these two lines will be parallel and they will never have any common point. That means they will never have a solution. So let us have a quick glance through the steps for this solution. The complete course for grade 10 CBSE Math is available in pendrive and SD card format. Click on the link to buy now. To know more, you may also check the description box below.